Okay, so as the EP of the office, what do you think of this deal for NBC to bring this content exclusively in-house? Well, I'm, I'm super excited for, for the show and just I feel like it was underrated while it was on the air. So it's incredible to see it over 10 years off after leaving the air to be even more popular than it was. And I do give credit to it finding a new audience through it, the new distribution services. And I'm excited to see what Comcast is going to do. And clearly this is a crown jewel for their new platform. Yeah, Ben, this seems to me like it's some it's something of a gamble, a long-term gamble here. Because on the one hand, Comcast, our parent company as well, NBC, they want to be as competitive as possible when they do launch this streaming service. So, of course, why wouldn't you bring a popular series like The Office back in-house? On the other hand, by doing that, sacrificing money to all those third-party distributors like Netflix. How do you think about that trade-off? Well, I, I do believe uh, The Office specifically is so by far and away the most popular show in the streaming world that as the owner of it, if you're serious at all about building your own platform, you, you have to go after the asset. Uh, separately, if you look at all the economics and how these companies are all operating, there's going to be fewer and fewer assets to buy as Disney goes further vertically integrated and clearly acquiring Fox and through t uh, the acquisition of 20th shows like The Simpsons and Family Guy. And you look at Warner Brothers, who owns big series like The Big Bang Theory and Friends, and is going to very likely end up through AT&T acquiring those series for its own platform. There's not going to be a, a lot left of these mega comedies that people are willing to watch again and again and again. And also these comedies seem to be the most multi-generationally connective. They're not only for us and our parents, but they're also for our kids and potentially future kids. So I think they, if, ben, they were, if they're serious, they have to go after it. And the last well, thing I'll just say, we, the, go ahead. Uh, we, we know the value of, of syndication or the old model. I, mean, I, I grew up with Star Trek and Brady Bunch reruns that were on, and you know that's where shows would get a lot of their value. But in the streaming era, do we really know exactly what The Office is worth to NBC as a draw to this platform? Is it possible that the value won't translate? Well, it's really interesting. Also, for us as the show creators, there's no question that the broadcast syndication off net distribution was is more valuable because there was a participation in the advertising ratings so if a show had massive ratings you were going to get a unlimited upside where is on Netflix the show was their number one show they didn't pay a bonus for that they had a contract they had locked prior and they took advantage of that and were able to compensate based on what they had agreed to prior to its arrival um, so it'll be interesting for the platform itself. It, you know, time will tell. Are subscribers um, going to subscribe, or in the case of an AVOD service, are they going to watch because uh, these shows are there? And I've got to believe they will. They they have demonstrated they ha they would follow their shows wherever they go, and they have been. I also would comment in general. The big studios that have been acquired by the big platforms like you know, Comcast's acquisition of NBCU or AT&T's acquisition of Time Warner, they inherently have a discount on buying these shows because the only money that's going to leave the door is the money that's going to go to the profit participants. They still, in the majority of these shows, have the majority of the economics going to them. So if you're serious about your platform, you're buying these at a discount relative to anything else you would buy. Right. Uh, and you've mentioned AVOD. We should mention NBC's is going to be an ad-supported streaming service. Ben, I'm curious, though, about your thoughts about the future of Netflix. I know you may sell programming to them. I don't know. But you get all this content polled. You know, Nielsen says 72 percent of the viewing on Netflix, and Netflix says it's not the case but doesn't give us the numbers, is series like The Office, is library content. Does it start to hit the value proposition for Netflix when really all it's about in the future, perhaps near-term future, is their originals? Well, I, I think that all the studios gave them a big head start to train an audience to watch content differently. And where it's hard to bet against Netflix is how fast they went global and how much they are going after the international marketplace. And that's the piece 
that when we think about reruns of The Office, we're fixated on the American audience, but internationally, uh, they're looking at other content at greater volume than just the American content. And that's where Netflix, I think, is putting, you know, real firepower and real energy uh, with a giant Amsterdam office they've opened up, a Madrid office and studio, at, let alone what they're doing in the emerging world. So it's going to be hard to bet against them. But in the U.S. market, I think they're going to face some challenges. I mean, it's going to be difficult as Disney starts launching Star Wars and Marvel series and Comcast has the office and a different model with Avod and AT&T owns a lot of great properties through the DC Universe and Warners, it's going to be highly charged and highly competitive and the audience is going to need to decide whether they just want to recreate their cable bundle uh, a la carte with all these new platforms.